uh, I'd like to know um, uh, Yeshi Seli from the New Indian Express. I'd like to know who's uh, representing African Union. Is it Waki Sol uh, uh, for the G20? And is the G20 officially going um, to be yes, called? Yeshi, you're not audible. Could you repeat again? Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, so this is Yeshi Seli from the New Indian Express. I'd like to know who is uh, uh, representing the African Union uh, for the summit. And is the G20 officially going to be called G21 after the conclusion of the summit? Okay. Siddhant? Hi, sir. I'm Siddhant from Vyond. My question is, uh, do you think the absence of the Chinese president uh, impacts the summit's proceeding? Is it an attempt by the Chinese to undermine? Do you see it in that phase as well? The lady in yellow behind. Samira Hussein with the BBC. I'm wondering if you think that, the, that Ukraine will derail talks and the ability to come up with a joint statement. Um, the, I, I'll repeat the question. None of you are pretty audible. Say, will Ukraine derail the talks is, and the ability to come up with the joint declaration? That's what I heard. Will Ukraine derail yeah. the talks? Yeah, I'll take one more question here. Yeah, right here. Nenima, yeah. Uh, this is Nainima Basu from AVP Live. Um, just one question. On the Russia-Ukraine war, will there be a specific discussion on the Black Grain Initiative? Thank you so much. So, will, can I pass on these five questions, perhaps? Uh, uh, so, let me first say that uh, on the journey of uh, the joint declaration, uh, I would prefer to speak after the summit is over, because the journey has just started. It's not ended. So I think you should have uh, a little bit of patience. Uh, we'll give you a complete glimpse of what the journey has been after the summit gets over. Because, uh, you know, this is a leader summit. I'm only the Sherpa of my leader, who's the Prime Minister of India. So the recommendations of the Sherpas are made to their respective leaders. The leaders have to accept those recommendations and approve them. Once they are approved, then that will get into public domain and we'll be able to talk about it. Some of the other questions also related to the content of the leader's declaration. And I would request all of you to realize the high nature of confidentiality of the leader's declaration because it has to be placed before the leaders and they have to approve it. But after that, We'll be very, we will be very happy to explain, elucidate, and take you into, the, into uh, all the details of that leader's declaration. Uh, as far as AU is concerned, let me say that the Prime Minister, uh, who's a great believer in Global South, had uh, written to all the leaders to, uh, and there has been a very positive response, but formally, uh, that will come before the summit. Uh, thirdly, on the Chinese, I would merely like to say that uh, China is a multilateral player. In multilateral discussions, the issues are very different from bilateral issues. And uh, Chinese discuss issues of growth, development. Uh, from their perspective, the challenge about any multilateral discussion is that you have to bring consensus across every issue. Every country has a veto power, and therefore we have to bring everybody on board. And I must say that we have been able to work with every single country, every single country, and bring them on board, which you will later see. Uh, there was an issue about Russia-Ukraine uh, conflict. Let me say that G20 is an economic forum. It discusses issues of growth and development. Uh, However, last year in Bali, uh, there was a feeling that issues of conflict and war have an impact on growth and development. So food, fuel and fertilizer get impacted and therefore that issue was discussed. And uh, this year also, uh, as a consequence of the challenge of growth and development and implementation of SDG, that issue has been discussed at great length and uh, we will talk about it once the leaders summit is over because whatever we discuss 
will have to be first discussed by the leaders and they will have to take a formal decision on that and then after that has been decided i'll be free to speak to you at great length on this issue foreign secretary sir would you like to say anything on these issues nothing much to add except to the questions which uh, was asked with regard to the presence or absence of leaders i think external affairs of ministers of india has already spoken on that issue and i think that statement stands for itself thank you i'll open the floor for the next round of questions i saw a hand here yeah please <laughs> welcome 